All right, so here's the lock that's been giving me some trouble right now. It's the Brinks Series 527, and this is a six pin lock, American style keyway. And nice bidding. So we'll take a look and see if I could get this picked rather quickly on camera. Hopefully I can. Um, yeah, okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to use top of the keyway tension. And, uh, oop, get that out of there. And uh, when you're using uh, top of the keyway, usually I use a slightly longer piece like this um, because the the face of the cylinder is, is in there about a quarter of an inch and uh, you're not just gonna I don't just stick it in all the way I'm gonna pull it out slightly so the first pin doesn't bind and I'm gonna use pretty light tension because there's uh, this particular lock is full of serrated key pins and uh, you know, it has uh, some spools in there, I believe, and uh, serrated drivers. Okay, so that's enough talking, and uh, I guess I'll get down to it. Uh, zoom in a little bit. All right. Again, light tension. And I'm going to see what's binding. Kind of working at a slight angle here. Okay, getting a lot of clicks. Yep, more clicks. Real crunchy, crunchy lock because of all the serrations. And with this particular keyway, or uh, this particular bidding, it's really easy to overset pins. Uh, what I'm using here is a, a Sparrows, um, I'm not sure what hook they call this, but uh, that's the profile. And uh, once I once I'm able to produce a false set, then it's kind of easy from there. Um, just getting to a false set with this one is is very difficult, and uh, you can't you can't rake it to a false set. I've tried with a lot of different uh, rakes, and I've tried um, different uh, different methods, but I can't get it to a false set. This is kind of my second go. I reset a little while ago. Mm. Something dropped down. Okay, we're still going. Pin four, pin five and six are not doing anything. Release tension. I think I overset pin four. I'm gonna start over. There we go, false set. And 
and uh, what happened was I had to um, set pin one, he was sitting really low, and then pin two was really high, and now I can go to three or four and see what's going on there and see if I have counter rotation, although I think I did set three before. So there's some counter rotation from three. No. Uh, no, not really. The click was just the uh, pick sliding off. Okay, so it's actually pin six, which is giving me the most counter rotation. Now, if you overset him, which I think I did, I can just release slight tension. and kind of rotate the lock manually let him drop back down and I got my full set again and I'm gonna, gonna try to set him again I think I'm gonna if I can't do it with this pick I'm gonna switch to something else Oop. Oh, I just wanna make sure I get under him right Oh, I'm going back to pin three. All right, now he's set. And uh, maybe now I'll try going back to pin six. I think he's over set. Let him drop back down. I think it would be easier to pick from the very bottom of the QA with a thinner pick. Um, I did order some picks. I'm just waiting them, waiting on them in the mail. So maybe next video I'll have them. Oh, come on. There we go. Phew. Took a while. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a tough lock. And uh, since I got a minute, I'll just uh, take them apart real quick and show you what's on the inside. Okay. This is a standard Phillips head. Alright. Let's drop this out and see what we got. Kind of surprised by what I found in here. It did come with a wafer in the back of the lock, but I think it might have fallen out or I didn't put it back in right. Oh no. no it wasn't right. Okay. I said it is a six pin lock. It's one and that's a six and five and four. I don't want to, I'll try not to get these mixed up. Like I said, I have the key so I can always fix them. Uh, what do I got here? Okay, so all the key pins are serrated. Every single one, even this little short guy. This was caught. Oh, actually, no, not the first pin. Uh, this is what was causing uh, most of the problem. The, uh, the one, uh, pin two, having to raise him above pin uh, 
pin 1, which was uh, very low. Alright, let's try not to get these pins screwed up. So the first one, you have a serrated spool, then a regular serrated pin. Let's try to go this way. Oh, lost him. <laughs> Let's see what he is. Oh, that's a serrated a spool and a spool. All right, let me just fix these. And then it looks like uh, one of the springs is kind of worn out. Okay. All right, so inside there you have all serrated key pins. Oh, let's see. Okay, so. Oh, sorry about that. All serrated key pins except for the first, the standard. And then there's a serrated spool, two spools, and then three serrated spools. Although the fourth chamber isn't cut that deep. And then the actual uh, plug itself is not serrated or cut in any kind of way. Unmodified. Alright, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.